Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 57 of the year 2018 and 58 of 2018, appointing General Secretaries of the Council of Representatives and the Shura Council. Decree 57 of 2018 stipulated the appointment of Rashid Mohammed Bunajma as Secretary General of the Council of Representatives in the rank of Ministerial Under Secretary, effective from the date of issuance to be published in the official Gazette. Decree 58 of 2018 stipulated the appointment of Osama Ahmed Khalaf al asfur as Secretary General of the Shura Council in the rank of Ministerial Under Secretary, effective from the date of issuance, to be published in the official Gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of thanks to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, in reply to His Highness's cable of congratulations on Bahrain's success for parliamentary and municipal elections, wishing His Highness a lasting good health and happiness, and Kuwait and its people further progress and prosperity. In the cable, His Majesty expressed his appreciation and took pride in His Highness's sincere brotherly sentiments, reaffirming that Bahrain's success is the success is a success for Kuwait. Wait, praising the amicable bonds and shared destination between the two countries and people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to receive His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, First Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and the accompanying delegation upon their official visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. Also present were His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and senior officials. After a short break at Sakhir Air Base, the parade of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman went to Sakhir Palace, where an official reception ceremony was held and the Bahraini and Saudi national anthems were played. His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince inspected the Guards of Honor. The mission of honor was headed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. The delegation accompanying the Saudi Crown Prince comprises of the advisor to the Royal Court, His Royal Highness Prince Turki bin Mohammed bin Fahad bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Minister of Interior, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Saud bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, Minister of Trade and Investment Dr. Majid Al Ghasabi, Foreign Minister Adil Al Jubair, Minister of Information Dr. Awad Al Awad, and Head of the General Intelligence Khalid Al Hamidan.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held talks yesterday with His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, First Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa were also present. The two sides reviewed the outstanding brotherly solid historic relations between the two countries in all fields, in addition to close bilateral cooperation and coordination regarding all issues to enhance their mutual interests. His Majesty the King asserted the strong ties linking Bahrain and Saudi Arabia that are based on stable, solid and fruitful cooperation and brotherly ties between the two countries and their two people. His Majesty the King highlighted that Bahrain's solidarity with Saudi Arabia has always been a constant choice in line with the path to the security and stability of the two countries, the prosperity and the prosperity of their people, the enhancement of their development gains and the improvement of their ability to face various challenges. Salam al Mamlak al Arabiya Saudiya wa salam Mamlakat al Bahrain. Salam! الشرف جنبين حرس الشرف جهاز التفتيش سيد His Majesty the King affirmed that Bahrain has stood side by side with Saudi Arabia and will continue to do so based on the common destiny. His Majesty also reiterated the Kingdom's rejection of targeting the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. For his part, the Saudi Crown Prince expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for awarding him with the medal, wishing the people of Bahrain progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تقديرا للدور الكبير 
His Majesty the King bestowed the Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa Medal of the Excellence Class on His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince in recognition of his efforts to boost the Bahraini Saudi relations and cooperation. His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince expressed profound gratitude to His Majesty the King for conferring on him the medal, wishing Bahrain and his people further progress and prosperity under the wise royal leadership and the Bahraini Saudi relations for their development. تحاك الشاعر اللي ينعرف في زحمة الأصوات ولا منه وقف شفت الفخر في نظرة عيونه قصيده لا بدابه تنتخي به ندر الأبيات مثل ما تنتخي في كل صامل كل مغبونة ومثل ما سطر التاريخ سيرة أعظم القادات يسطر في صدور أهل المبادي يوم يقرونه مع طلعة سهيل وكثرة الشعار والشلات مطالعه قفر تاتيك من شكله ومن لونه عليه البدع وانتم ما يبي منكم سوال صات ويعدكم يقول اللي بعضهم ما يقولونه بعدها يا سلام الله على القادات والقوات سلام لا نصلي يستحقه هل تمزونه سلام الله على اللي رايته ما فوقها رايات ولا منه تعزواء صار كن الكون ذا كون وريث اللي تسمى بالحزم والعزم والظفرات لين أصبح مثل يوخذ بغياته مضمونة وريث اللي تسمى بالحزم والعزم والظفرات إلينا أصبح مثل يوخذ بغاياته ومضمونة هذا سلمان بن عبد العزيز وتخضع الهامات التاريخه هو وقفاته ودستوره وقانونه وسلام الله على اللي فزعته تسبق هل الفزعات وإلى من باح مكنون العرب ما باح مكنونة هذا القايد هذا القايد حمد راع الفعول الكبرة القالات يبركها على صم الصفا ويذب تركونه يقولون المواقف دين حسب العرف والعادات وهو من طنخ تبغى لعياله سدد ديونه وسلام الله على ذخر الشعوب محقق الغايات سليل العزوة اللي من نخاهم ما يخلونه هذا محمد ابن سلمان هذا كامل الشارات هذا طويق المسمى يا عسى العدوان يفدونه هذا محمد ابن سلمان هذا ثاق بالنظرات هذا اللي سطوته من قوباسه تسبق ظنونه هذا محمد ابن سلمان هذا عادل الميلات هذا اللي لا تصعب لمر عنده صار ياهونه ابو وجه عليه من الرضا ما يقضي الحاجات وابو راس اللي يا منك نخيته جنة جنونه وابو يمنا عطاها يلحق المدات بالمدات وابو شلفا نهار الكون للعدوان مسنونه وابو رؤيا بشايرها علينا تلجم الشمات وابو رؤيا بشايرها علينا تلجم الشمات وابو عزم طموحه ينقطع حد النظر دونه سليل العزوتين اللي ما يبغي له شهوده اثبات شهوده كل عرق يجذبه ما يعرف الخونه وسلام الله على جيش التحالف صام للوقفات على كل ابلج روحه لحد الدار مرهونه رجال كل ما حمي الوطيس وكبرت الهقوات يبيعون العمر لكن وفاهم ما يبيعونه هداهم في الملاقة ما يهم هاد من لذات ولا من مات يفخر بهله من قبل يبكونه ترى كلش هدانا ما نسجلهم مثل الاموات نباهم حي لو اجسادهم في الارض مدفونه وترى حكامنا يبقى غلاهم في صميم الذات لكن المدح لا منقيل في اللي يستحقونه ما في ذا الحرب قايد كلهم في عيوننا قادات ولا منا مدحنا واحد منهم تعرفونه هذا ما جاد به فكري وترجمته على الصفحات وروحي قبل شعري لاحتمل ميدان مرهونة خطب تجمل بنات الشعر واللي كنت بيها جات وجاك الشعر بافكاره وبشهوده ومأذونه السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته
His Majesty then shook hands with His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince and the accompanying delegation. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation of the fraternal Saudi stance in Towers Bahrain and its great and regular support, which accentuates the historical fraternal relations between the two kingdoms. He also paid tribute to the Saudi keenness to underpin Bahrain's security, stability, development and prosperity. He highly valued the Saudi noble and steady humanitarian role in Yemen, pointing out that the Saudi and UAE supply initiative to meet humanitarian needs and provide additional support to elevate the suffering of the Yemeni people and help them to overcome the difficult living conditions. He stressed that such support will benefit all the brothers in Yemen and will contribute to increase relief in humanitarian programs and improve the humanitarian situation in Yemen. His Majesty the King commended the Saudi commitment to take on its regional and international strategic and humanitarian role and its keenness on promoting Gulf, Arab and Islamic joint action and contributing to the prosperity of humankind. He said that solidarity with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is a duty for all as it is solidarity with rightness and a desire to preserve the unity and safety of Gulf countries and societies. His Majesty the King added that Saudi Arabia would continue its leading global role to maintain regional and international peace and security under the wise leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, and thanks to its potentials that make it a cornerstone for the security and stability of the region and the world at large. He added that Saudi Arabia will always remain strong and able to deter all attempts uh, to undermine its security and stability and the systemic uh, campaigns to interfere, interfere in its internal affairs through staged uh, campaigns, malicious allegations and false claims. His Majesty the King then held a dinner banquet in honor of His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince and the accompanying delegation.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa visited His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defence of Saudi Arabia Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud at his residence in the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince hailed the historic relations linking the two kingdoms, adding that the two kingdoms have faced and overcome various challenges that targeted their unity. For his part, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the development of ties between the two countries in light of the support given by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness also hailed the modern and ambitious vision of His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince and valued Saudi's constant support to Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister lauded the pioneering role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in defending Arab and Islamic issues. In the meeting, the two sides discussed the latest regional and international developments, as well as issues of mutual interest. His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince expressed thanks and appreciation to the Kingdom of Bahrain for its supportive stances towards the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Khadibiya Palace. The cabinet welcomed the visit of His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, First Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defence Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and affirmed the importance of the visit which comes within the framework of deep-rooted brotherly relations between the two people and in line with the keenness of both countries' leadership to coordinate and consult regarding various affairs and topics to enhance joint cooperation and in various fields. The meeting hailed the pivotal role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. They expressed pride and appreciation of Saudi Arabia's supporting stances towards Bahrain in various fields. The Prime Minister ordered February 12, 2019 to be a half working day for government employees from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. to participate in the Bahraini Sports Day. His Royal Highness directed all ministries and government authorities to create sports programs for employees during this period. The cabinet highlighted the importance of Jewelry Arabia 2018, which was inaugurated by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister as one of the most important economic, commercial and touristic activities and its role in enhancing the kingdom's status in the gold and jewelry sector. The Cabinet pointed out that the wide international participation, increasing number of visitors and the volume of sales reflects the success of the events launched from Bahrain. In this context, the Minister of Industry, Trade and Tourism presented a report that included a statistical display of the local and international participation in the exhibition. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the Bahraini people for their effective participation in the parliamentary and municipal elections and the large turnout which reflects the honourable national stance of Bahrainis. He affirmed the government's keenness to increase cooperation with the new Council of Representatives as it always keen to strengthen the parliamentary partnership. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of the Ministry of Interior which facilitated the electoral process and also praised the role played by the Elections Higher Committee under the chairmanship of the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments. He also praised the efforts of the Ministry of Information Affairs in highlighting this event. Upon the recommendation of the Coordination Committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, the Cabinet approved a number of decrees by law and bylaws and decided to take constitutional and legal measures to implement them. The Cabinet noted the high implementation rate of 90% of the national projects that perform the main tasks of the Government Action Plan items for the years 2015 to 2018. 
The government succeeded in attracting investments in developmental projects in government holding companies and private sector investments in urban development, attracting investments and revitalizing tourism and industry in Bahrain. The Cabinet reviewed the National Human Development Report of 2018 prepared by Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies, DIRASAT, in cooperation with the UNDP. The Cabinet also reviewed the latest developments and achievements of implementing the National Renewable Energy Action Plan. The Cabinet hailed the efforts of the Ministry of Electricity and Water in that regard and expressed thanks to the National Committee for implementing and following up on the National Plan for the National Energy Efficiency Action Plans and National Renewable Energy Action Plan. The Cabinet approved the acquisition of four properties to expand and connect roads. The Cabinet also referred two draft laws to the Representatives' Council accompanied by a memorandum of the government's point of view on them. The first is on amending Article 2 of Decree by Law 25 of 2015 on determining the budget for developing the infrastructure in construction areas, and the second on amending Article 4 of Law 57 of 2006 on creating the Labour Fund. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met the Saudi Crown Prince, the Vice President of the Council of Ministers and Minister of Defence, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. During the meeting, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince highlighted the long-standing bilateral ties between the kingdoms of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, underpinned by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud joint commitment to advanced cooperation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince went on noting that the two kingdoms shared interests and aligned strategic visions continue to positively impact the region's future development and progress. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also underscored the fundamental role the two kingdoms' cooperation plays in mitigating common threats and challenges. In return, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud expressed his appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for supporting the kingdom strong and enduring strategic partnership, wishing Bahrain continuous progress and prosperity. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and a number of senior governmental officials also attended the meeting. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the STW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa received a number of artists participating in the Art Bab events abroad, which Her Royal Highness considers one of the most important art gatherings that provided the participants with a complete freedom for creativity in their works. She expressed pleasure in the participation of youth artists. Her Royal Highness affirmed that Bahrain takes pride in the achievements of Bahraini artists who contributed to the artistic and cultural enrichment in the kingdom, hailing the role of Art Bab in enhancing the skills of Bahraini artists and developing the means of publishing their artistic production in various world capitals and cities. Her Royal Highness noted the efforts of Tim Keen in hosting and funding the project through a three-year work program, highlighting the level of organization of the initiative's events and activities. For his part, the chairman of Tamkin, Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika for her support to art in Bahrain, for its impact on the national economy. He asserted that Tamkin's support to Art Bab in the past three years contributed to promoting over 60 Bahraini artists, adding that Tamkin will hold a training workshop with the participation of art experts from around the world to improve the skills of Bahraini artists. The artists participating in the Art Bab initiative praised the efforts of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika and her support for their works through hosting specialized exhibitions inside and outside the kingdom.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Adil bin Ahmed Al Jubair. The minister affirmed that the meeting of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister, and Minister of Defense of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, will strengthen relations between the two kingdoms at all levels and contribute to enhancing regional peace and stability. The Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed Bahrain's pride in the development of relations with Saudi in all fields in light of the support given by the governments of both kingdoms. For his part, Minister Adil Jaber praised the solid Bahraini-Saudi relations wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The 2018 Election Executive Committee announced that 29 embassies, consulates and diplomatic missions of the Kingdom of Bahrain would host the second round of the parliamentary elections on November 27, 2018. The second round will be held for candidates for the Council of Representatives of 31 constituencies as nine candidates won the first round, the Executive Committee stated. The committee said that the voting process abroad would be held from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. depending on the local time of the city where the embassy consulate or diplomatic mission is located at. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, inaugurated the 5th Middle East Maintenance and Reliability Conference yesterday evening in the presence of a wide number of engineers, specialists and heads of regional and international specialized companies to share knowledge, experience and ambition in inventions and showcase the latest technologies in this important field. This conference, uh, maintenance and reliability in the oil and gas sector, will represent uh, the cornerstone and the foundations for any successful complexes. Normally, complexes today, uh, we spend billions of dollars, no longer millions, but billions of dollars. And if uh, it needs maintenance, intelligent ma maintenance, innovative maintenance for sustainable, reliable, and most importantly, safe operations. Tonight, we have seen 800, uh, over 800 professionals from around the world, from uh, both the technology holders, as well as from organizations and operating companies, come under one roof in order to exchange knowledge. With the fast advancement of technology, with the fast advancement of the maintenance techniques and reliability, with the advancement in robotics, uh, we need to have such gathering under one roof in order for uh, professionals to be able uh, to exchange knowledge. The second annual Islamic Finance Innovation Day Forum was held today, gearing up to welcome more than 150 rising stars and industry experts from across the Islamic finance industry and rapidly developing a fintech sector to explore the role and impact that young professionals can have in driving and capturing the opportunities presented by the rapid development of finance or fintech by financial institutions and consumers of financial products and services around the world. It's the second time that we've done the uh, innovation in Islamic Finance Day. Uh, but what we're particularly excited about this year is that there's a real focus on youth and young people. And when you think about fintech, you know, in terms of the enablers, in terms of the entrepreneurs, many of them are young, digital savvy uh, people with great ideas in terms of how they can transform the in industry. When you think about the customers, it's the millennials, it's young people that are looking for more digital products when they do their finances. But when you think about the jobs of the future, it's all about young people. Yeah? In the past, we talked about lawyers and bankers and doctors, and those jobs will continue to be important. But in the future, we want to talk about data scientists, digital bankers, people founding their own startup companies. So, so we're really pleased to be back here again this year. Uh, and I love this focus on, on young people and, and the part that young people can play in driving the fintech ecosystem in Bahrain. I think today is a significant event in the world of Islamic finance and the innovation as well because Bahrain is positioning itself as an Islamic fintech hub and having such an event, it really 
supports this argument that Bahrain has great potentials. Saudi Foreign Minister Adil Jubeir asserted that the results of the parliament and municipal elections in Bahrain and the voters' high turnout are considered a clear rejection of foreign interference in the kingdom's internal affairs. In statements posted on Twitter, Al Jubeir added that the election's results affirm the unity of the people of Bahrain and his confidence in the reform project of His Majesty the King. Meanwhile, UAE State Minister for Foreign Affairs Anwar Girgash said that Bahrain has enhanced its constitutional and institutional approach to the success of the electoral process. He also said that the high turnout of voters stresses the national awareness of the importance of stability and the rejection of foreign interference, noting that Bahrain's success is the success aspired by the countries of the Arabian Gulf. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Dr. Mish'al Al-Salami, affirmed that the success of the 2018 parliamentary and municipal elections in the kingdom reflects the citizens' confidence in the state's institutions and freedom to elect their parliamentary representatives and municipal councillors. He also said that this success reflects uh, the support of the reforms led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and expresses the people's rejection of external interference in the Kingdom of Bahrain's internal affairs. He also congratulated Bahrain on these successful elections, noting the unprecedented popular turnout reaching 67%.